explain. Can Ollie go? All right, Ollie, I'll no, pick one for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ollie. That's disgusting. You've got to explain <laughs> the dangers of too much sunbathing and how to combat it and keep healthy. That's so boring. No, it isn't, because you've got to go on about fake tan, etc. No, Ollie, go. Yeah, Ollie should do why fake, ta fake tan should be banned. OK, Ollie should do why fake tan should be banned. Go. Too many people nowadays have got into a trend of putting on fake tan. Ooh. David Dickinson and Dale Winton have started this ridiculous mockery <laughs> to <coughs> of very pale-skinned men trying to make themselves look healthy. In fact, it just makes them look ill. Their orange complexion looks like orange. Um, the um, the smell that they bask is reminiscent of bleach and biscuits mixed. It is disgusting when you stand next to anyone in a Sainsbury's queue and they smell of the biscuity substance, which you know is fake tan. I hate fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> it is vulgar. It is disgusting. It leaves your clothes <laughs> with marks you do not wish to have. I wore this T-shirt earlier just to prove this very point. <laughs> but fake tan, it is a disgusting, horrid mess that people should not try and address. They should not try and use it. <laughs> we need to form an alliance behind not having fake tan allowed in shops. I blame the only way is Essex. <laughs> <laughs> For this, mainly. Um, they are so fake tanned that Essex itself is an orange tint. <laughs> 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 and also then brings Made in Chelsea into, into light. And even the likes of rappers, <laughs> such as Dappy, wearing fake tan, making them smell of biscuits and regret. <laughs> <laughs> so, here lies my argument. Ban fake tan forever. Disgusting, repulsive and staining. <laughs> you have to do one for someone.